Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching again. I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing another film uh, that I saw on Netflix, uh, just because the theaters are still closed right now. Uh, and I also want to start this off by saying that I hope you guys are all safe and well during this time. Uh, now, getting right into it, uh, it's got a 66% score on Rotten Tomatoes and a 51% score by the audience. Uh, it stars Issa Rae and I'm <laughs> going to butcher this name, but Kumail uh, Nanjani. Uh, and what the film basically is about is uh, a couple who's kind of at the end of their relationship uh, goes through this encounter where they believe this guy is a cop. Uh, and you know, he, the classic, uh, movie scene that we've seen a lot of times where they'll say, I need to commandeer this car. Well, this guy commandeers their car and then ends up killing someone. Uh, and then they're worried they're going to get framed for it. So, uh, they run away from the police and they try to solve, you know, this murder mystery on their own. Like, why did this guy, uh, choose to kill this other guy in their car? Uh, not giving away anything that uh, hasn't been shown in the trailers, uh, but that's basically what the type of film is about. It's, you know, kind of serious, kind of a comedy, uh, more so comedy. Uh, I'll tell you straight off the bat, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, a lot of the plot devices um, you will have seen before in other films. Uh, you know, there, there are some points that definitely where they're trying to be funny and it kind of misses and falls short. Uh, but what I will say... The thing that made it an enjoyable watch for me, uh, in spite of that, you know, in spite of some of the plot difficulties and, you know, them incorporating things that I've already seen before. Um, the chemistry between the two main characters, I think that you can really see it. Um, this is one of those uh, stories where, you know, if afterward, or, you know, 10 years down the road, you heard, you know, interviews from the actors and they talked about, you know, they really enjoyed each other's company and they became great friends or, you know, otherwise off the set. You wouldn't be surprised because more than anything, I'd say the chemistry between the two of them really translates on screen. Uh, and that's what kind of made it enjoyable for me. You know, the, the comedy, the, the, there were parts, you know, that were pretty funny uh, and it was entertaining, but... You know, just overall as a story, I think if you took that same story, uh, the same setup, uh, the same things that happened to them, and you had two other main characters, I don't think that it would have worked as well. Uh, so what I saw, like I said, it got a 66% score by uh, the critics. Uh, that was more in line of what I was expecting. Uh, and then the 51% score by audience, I think that a lot has to do with it's not exactly what you would expect uh if you saw the you know the the cast of characters involved i think you would come away expecting a little bit more uh this one like i said i don't think uh you can blame on the, the cast i thought the acting was great um uh, but they're just I, I think they were expecting them to compensate too much for the story shortcomings uh, so I, I don't think they, the actors really failed, uh, the actors and actresses failed so much as, you know, they weren't set up properly. Uh, that said, it is on Netflix, and I think that is definitely something that uh, it's enjoyable to watch. It's not something that you're going to feel that you wasted your time on, uh, especially if you got a significant other that you're spending this time with. I think it'll be, you know, kind of a cute you know, funny little date movie that you guys can both enjoy and then, you know, you'll reference afterward. Uh, if it's something that you're just kind of browsing Netflix on your own or you're with your buddies and you're looking for something to watch, I don't think it's something that uh, you'll like as much. But with a significant other, you know, I, I think it is something that you enjoy. So 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, good watch, you know, for being on Netflix. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm keeping this one short and sweet. Um, I can't wait until they open the theaters back up again. Uh, definitely a lot of movies I want to see. I want to get that theater experience again. You know, I enjoy watching movies at home, but, you know, I, I definitely miss the theater experience. Uh, I hope you guys will stick around <laughs> until we're back into that. Uh, thanks once again for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you once again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.